News Network. We are at Trans World 2016. We've stopped at Distortions Unlimited's large booth. There's a lot to check out. Unfortunately, I have the president of Distortions Unlimited, Ed Edmonds, to tell me a little bit more about what we've got here. Who's this guy? Well, now, this is, uh, we came up with this incredible name for this thing. We worked for weeks to come up with a very important gorilla in a cage. Ooh, that's artistic. Oh, yes. You know, the funny thing is, it's like our, our one of our guys, Mondo, we're, we're cutting stuff. We had all these ideas for the show. We cut many of them. And we're in the 11th hour, and he was looking for a mold. He came across this gorilla mold. And he goes, hey, what if we did a gorilla in a cage? And we're like... Wow, that's a great idea. So we, as we were cutting other products, we did this in the 11th hour. What else are you excited to be bringing to, to Transworld? Well, you know, we got into escape rooms. Uh, the, the show was putting a focus on that Transworld. And so we, at the last minute, did a bunch. In fact, we probably put most of our energy into escape room pieces with electromagnets and different things. Uh, and uh, Bright Ideas helped us figure out how to pull this off. And so that's been a big focus for us. Those products have been well received. We know very little about the escape room world, but uh, it certainly uh, seems like people responded well to the products, especially the body of evidence. So um, we'll demonstrate that for you. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, we also did a giant skull entry. We brought a bunch of our regular characters. We have all electric gargoyles that smoke and raise their wings. And we've got this, uh, this uh, zombie fence called Breakout. That's been terrorizing people because one of the zombies isn't an animatronic, so everybody says, oh, okay, wall of animatronics, you know. And But one of them opens the gate. There's no gate. It just folds the fence. We put a secret hinge in there, and he comes out. That's caused quite a stir. And so that's been good. Now, we just sold the spider last night, but we had a 12-foot hairy spider. So just a variety of creepy, nasty stuff. Of the zombie, the breakout has been my favorite attraction that I have walked by so I'm glad that you mentioned yeah. it yeah he, I've seen your uh, zombie walk out and grab people he's oh. giving them quite the startle well you know and, it, and, and the, he's not necessarily like people are waiting to see what it does or whatever looking at it he'll just snag people going down the aisle the poor people that are pushing the trash cans and stuff they've all had to deal with him <laughs> to learn more about the many things that you offer for the haunt world, where can we find you online? We are at distortionsunlimited.com. Oh, nice and easy one. Very easy. Oh, I do have a question uh, related to Transworld. You've been to Transworld before. What keeps you coming back? Well, you know, for the kind of things we make, this is the show for us, and uh, it's growing, it seems exponentially, and as it's growing, it's getting better. Show management seems to have a knack for understanding who could fit with the show and things. So it's become really the show for us, for this kind of product. Haunted houses, now escape rooms. Um, and so um, there's just nothing bigger, there's nothing better. And I will say, it's, it's like one of the easiest shows ever. Everybody's very nice, very helpful, easy to set up, easy to tear down. It's really a nice vibe around here. Well, thanks for your feedback. Um, I do have one more question. This one's an easy one. Okay, an easy question. I like that. Do you prefer makeup and prosthetics or masks? Well, now that is a loaded question. I like masks. We make masks. I will say if you are going to be in a haunted house for an extended period of time, makeup is probably better. Uh, some of the silicone masks work well. There's certain things that you can't do with makeup easily, and so you got to go to a mask. So uh, my trick answer is both. Depends on the character. Uh, for some, it needs to be makeup. Some, it's got to be a mask. You can't beat it. So uh, sorry I didn't answer that well. No, that was perfect. You, you, were, you were surprisingly prepared for that. I thought I was going to sling you a trick question. You had an answer, a trick answer. Questions.
Well, thank you, Ed, for your time and for um, showing me around your, your booth. Now, wait a minute, though. I have a special guest speaker that would like to answer one of your questions. He wants, he wants you to ask him, what's the scariest prop here? Could you do that? Yeah, sure. Ask him. <laughs> Great gorilla in a cage! And this is Destiny with Haunt News Network. We bring you all things haunted.